What's up, YouTube? Siegfried True Lane here, and today we are coming back with a Dragon Ball Legends video, which I'm going to be honest, I have not expected to make for a while. Um, and this is going to be kind of opposite of what I usually make. Usually, I have a lot of issues with Dragon Ball Legends. Um, but today, this is kind of an opposite one. Lately, I've been seeing a lot of videos kind of talking about how bad this anniversary is so far. And how we got way more units in the other anniversaries and blah, 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 blah. So today, I thought we would take a look at all four anniversaries and compare them and compare the rewards. Now, I'm doing this to the best of my um, ability from what I could research and what I remembered personally. Uh, so I might have something such as the amount of Chrono Crystals off, or I might be missing a free character here or there at other, other events because I couldn't find information 100%. Let's start the first anniversary. Okay, we had the... Um, the free summons every day, which by the way had no Legends Limiteds. They were all units, the sparking units, which meant they were pretty much useless. We did get the free Vegito, which is really cool. So one of our first really cool free units we got. So that's one free unit. We had the uh, Ultimate Showdown event. I don't remember if this gave any CC or not. We had the Anniversary Medals, of course. We had the Login Bonus, which gave a total of 1200 CC. We had, um, these don't tell you things. We had Top Grossing, of course, which gave us another, well, I think, it's actually down here, maybe you tell us how much it gave us. Um, we had the two different banners. So we had the SSB, the, we had the Blue Goku and the Golden Frieza, the Blue Vegeta and the Super Boo. We had the Dragon Balls, which was a total of 2,000 CC between the Dragon Balls and the Chrono Crystals on the Wishes. And then, of course, we had the um, Top Grossing, which I believe was actually not 1,000. I believe it's actually a bit higher. I think it was... But I, maybe it was a thousand, but I put it down at a thousand to be safe. So if we look, that's pretty much the first year anniversary in general. It was great. I mean, it was okay. There, nothing, nothing special. We got five summonable units. We got actually we got a lot of more. We got about nine summonable units because we also had four EXs and we got one free SP unit, right? So we had a total of five units. Our very first legendary finish, Super Vegito. The two blues. Golden Freeze and Super Boo. Um, X Weiss, X Beerus, X Super Janemba, X Chilled, and then the free Rising Rush Vegito. So first year anniversary, we got 10 characters, only one of them being free. Uh, no Z Power. I believe this is when Z Power was introduced you could buy, but no actual free Z Power. So let's take a look at the second year anniversary. Now this is a little hard. First year was one of the easiest to find, the other ones are a little harder to find. Second anniversary, we had the free daily summons. Again, no Legends Limited, even though we had a bunch of Legends Limited that were old at that time. Uh, the special login bonus for a total of 1500 Chrono Crystals. We have more Chrono Crystals here, but I don't know exactly how much. The Shed Run for another 2000 Chrono Crystals. He had in return this uh, event for another thousand chrono crystals. This event for another thousand chrono crystals. And the two banners, and pretty much here's what we got on that one, right? <laughs> Sorry about that. We got about a total of seven and a half k chrono crystals. Um, Fifteen hundred from the login bonus, two thousand from Shenron, the other two thousand from those events. Uh, a top grossing, and then I think another thousand from something else. So we got about 7.5k on that one right there. The units were Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Omega Shenron, Merge Zamasu, Rage Trunks, Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan Vegito, Sin Shenron, Gogeta, Super Vegeta, Super Trunks. Now, there might have been a free character that I'm forgetting. It was a while ago, but I can't think of it, which means it really probably wasn't that significant if you think about that. So in all, we got a total of nine characters in year two, not ten like in year one. If we did get a free character, then we had ten. We did, however, get the Zenkai for future trunks, which was pretty cool. But this gave us one Legends Limited, four Sparkings, four X Dreams, all had to be summoned for. Now I will never forget the year four or the year two anniversary because it took me four forty thousand Chrono Crystals to get Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, and then I pulled them almost immediately after that. Also, might I add that, you know, the rates were a lot lower back then, too. So, let's move on to the third year anniversary, which, to be my opinion, 
was the worst anniversary they did. Now others may disagree, but I'll explain my reasoning in a bit. Now this is a pretty good page for the 30th anniversary. It goes down pretty well about it. So this is, it's all in Japanese, but that's really not a problem because they also have the English underneath it. So it does have the translation as well. So let's go ahead and go through here. Do, 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 do. I mean, I don't think this was the Goku one, do it with all the Gokus for free. So <clears throat> there's supposed to be a free 5,000 Chrono Crystals plus multi Z power, not, you know, so we got some multi Z power there. Hate allergies. Login bonus, which it doesn't tell us exactly how much we got. Championship bonus for a thousand. Shed run for two thousand. And then we have, of course, the Spartan Battles. We had the free Gogeta, which led to the Gogeta Zenkai. I don't remember if he was Zenkai during the anniversary or not. And then, of course, we have the units. So let's take a quick look at all this. So total for year for anniversary, we got about 9,000 Chrono Crystals. Now, to be fair, I quit year three anniversary. I quit Dragon Ball Legends mid through year three anniversary because, well, I'll get to that one in a bit. But from what I remember and what I can see, we got about 5,000 from the raids, 2,000 from Shenron, maybe about 1,000 from Logan, 1,000 from Top Grossing, might have been more. Probably got around 10K to be fair. But I don't know throughout the entire anniversary. The new units were... Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Nova Shenron, Ice Shenron, <clears throat> Super Baby 2, Super 17, Corrupted Zamasu, Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan Vegito, the SP version, Kefla, Goku Rose, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and I think Ultra Vegito came out at that time. They also, I believe, we got 100 Legends Limited Z Power as well during this time. Um, I'm pretty sure we got, I'm, I'm more than we got at least 100 Legends Limited Z Power at this time. Total of 11 units, 1 Ultra, 2 Legends Limited, 4 SP, 4 Extreme. I could be wrong on the Ultra Vegeta, but I believe that's what people said. I quit because, to be honest, releasing 2 Legends Limited units was freaking retarded. I really thought was really disappointed that they went that route. They should have released 1 Legends Limited. And then I think we got the, um, the Zenkai for the Gogeta, but I could be wrong on that. It might have come right after. Again, I quit because I'm sorry. <laughs> the fact that I had to go for two Legends Limited units was BS. Now, I don't get why people think that's so good. I think that that's really bad. As a whale or a free-to-play player, it's more money you have to spend in one city. I don't think that's very good for an anniversary. I think when you add in too much you have to summon for... It kills an anniversary. It kills the hype because now you've got, yeah, I mean, like we got 9,000 CC ish, maybe 10,000, but we had an extra ultra rare unit we had to go for. Not a good idea. So, 11 characters and 10 of them you had to summon for. How is that free to play friendly? It's not. Now, Let's go ahead and take a look at year four. So if we take a look at year four here, here we go. Start at the beginning. First thing is we had the special missions, which netted us an easy 4,000 Chrono Crystals. We had the login bonus, which should have been an easy 1,000 Chrono Crystals. We had the Shenron with the Dragon Balls, easy 2,000 Chrono Crystals. <clears throat> we had the raid event, easy 1,000 crystals. We had other missions with exchange, which is an easy 1,000 crystals. And then we had top grossing for another 1,000 crystals. So far, we've got an easy, this is easy. We've got obviously more than this, but this is what I can say for sure. 10,000 chrono crystals already within the first, what, two, three weeks? That's really good. Now let's take a look at the units we got. Of course, we got the new uh, Master Ultra Instinct Goku, and the Vegeta. However, other units we got were, of course, we got the Yudin and the Kale Extreme, Universe 7 Goku, Universe 7 Tien, Universe 7 Krillin, and Gogeta is coming. This gives us a total of eight new characters, two less than the first year anniversary, one less than the second year anniversary, 
three less than the four, third year anniversary. However, here is the big thing. Only four of them had to be summoned for. Yudin, Kale, the Vegeta, and the Goku. The other four are free. They gave us four free units on top of the four summonable units. And these four free units are really good. On top of that, we had this banner, which featured, for the first time, Legends Limited. I pulled the Goten. Not that I cared about him. So we had this Legends Limited character banner, right? <clears throat> then, we also got the tickets, which gave us that 10% chance of Legends Limited from the events. And those tickets, I pulled at least three Legends Limited from those 10% LL tickets. I pulled the Gohan ones, I pulled uh, the Goku, and I pulled Beerus. Not bad, actually. I think I pulled uh, Beerus from this one as well. Then we also have the four LL tickets we get within the f every time we log in for 10 days. So pretty much 40 days, right? <sighs> like, four free Legend Limited characters. Plus you have to take the banner, you can spend a thousand Chrono Crystals and get another free Legend Limited character. I mean, that's four free Legend Limited characters, a thousand Chrono Crystals to give you the fifth one. Then you have those tickets which have a 10% chance which you aren't guaranteed but you could get another one and then we have so here we go here's legendary tickets right here 40 tickets right there boom 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 but then we have the z power okay here are the three, here are these three units here's this raid we have the z power now let's take a look this, this is i think is the big thing right here this is the really big thing multi legends let's see multi z power for legend limited Right there, boom. We get a total. If you farm it up, you can get a total of four four free LLs and about twelve hundred Z power, depending on how long the every Tuesday login is. If that every Tuesday is at least twelve weeks, which it might not be, but if it is, that's an easy twelve hundred Z power. But we got one hundred from the anniversary tickets. You get eight hundred from the uh, raid that we're doing. And then an easy two to three hundred from the every Tuesday login. That's insane. If it's twelve hundred Z power, LL Z power, if it is that twelve hundred, that would be the equivalence of six free LL characters, two of any character that you already own that you can choose at your own will. I don't understand why people are complaining about this anniversary. I can understand if you're a whale. And you're mad that you can't whale out more. But definitely, it's not not free-to-play friendly. This is the most free-to-play friendly anniversary ever. The only thing that I can agree on is one person who said that the fact that you need an Ultra Instinct Goku for the bonuses and you needed him at like six stars. Yeah, that, that one is a little bit. That, that's the only part I agree with. I don't think that having UI Goku at six stars should have been required for guaranteed drops of the medals. I got lucky and did get to six stars, but that should not have been required. One more thing I would like to state is that this is the first time where these units pulled at 1200 Z power. What this means is that the last three anniversaries, you had to pull the characters way more. Not to mention it was a 10% rate. This time we have a higher, we have an, a high, like the double LL rate, the 0.5%. We have the higher rate for Vegeta, for Sparklings in general, the double Z power, and all the extra free Z power. If you pulled, if you pulled just one Goku, you can easily six star him for free. And <clears throat> the year two anniversary took me 40,000 Chrono Crystals to pull one SSB SS Vegito. And then I pulled a second one afterwards. That means it took me almost 40,000 to just get two copies of him. It took me four rotations to get two copies of MUI Goku, which is a total of four MUI Gokus due to the double Z power. This anniversary is not bad. This is the best free to play anniversary I think I've ever seen. If you even if you don't pull the MUI Goku, the fact that you can get almost eight free LL characters should be enough 
to warrant a good anniversary. And the th honestly, the three characters they gave us are pretty good. The Goku, the Tien are pretty good. That Tien is kind of deadly in PvP. I'm like, he's not, he's not a bad character. So, I don't understand the issues with the anniversary. I personally think they've done a really good job. I think it's the best anniversary so far. I mean, people can talk about a lack of events all they want, but to be perfectly honest, this is the same at every anniversary. It literally, it's it's co-op raid, co-op raid, co -op. This is the first time where I've actually seen different actual events. In the last anniversary, there's been nothing but the freaking co-op raids, which I hate with a passion. I hate the co-op raids. They're not fun to grind. And the Poi Poi coins were always stuck behind something that you literally just used skip tickets for and got like two here, three here, zero here. The fact that we can actually get good Poi Poi coins this time through the co-op, I don't mind that. Now, yes, yeah, like the events, I think the events are pretty much what we see at every every anniversary. The biggest complaint I've been seeing people make is there's not enough units. And honestly, this seems like more of a whale problem. It seems like the whales are complaining. And while I do like a few of these YouTubers, I think it's unfair. Not unfair. I think it's really bad that they're complaining about this because it's just going to make the next anniversary heavy pay to win anniversary. And anniversary three was very heavy pay to win. 100% pay to win anniversary. Two legend limited characters. Yeah, that's not free to play friendly. Year one was pretty rough as well. This I think is the best. It's great, easy, one banner, boom. You get it, you're done, you're finished. This allows everyone a better chance to end the anniversary about the same on about the same grounding of having the units. Yes, they might not have a 14 star unit, but they might have, they at least have the unit. They get that Z power. Everybody can easily end up with a six star MUI Goku. Now, there is the chance your RNG is just absolutely god awful and you don't pull him in for that. I feel bad for you. But it's a lot better, or your, your chance is a lot higher to pull one character than to pull, try and pull two LLs or <clears throat> two characters over trying to pull, say, six characters or five characters, no, four characters over trying to pull ten characters. You know, it's. I haven't pulled the uh, Kale yet. I don't really care about the Ixes that much. I did pull Yurden. But the thing is, like, this is a very free to play for the anniversary. I think it's going very well. I think that they have the right idea. They're giving a lot of Chrono Crystals out. They don't have a lot you have to use it on. This means that people can actually divert their rewards more <clears throat> um, efficiently towards trying to get the unit they need to get. And they don't have to choose between two units. Year 3 anniversary made me quit because of the two Legend Limited banners. That... I, I spent a little bit of money on that one. And after spending about 40 bucks, I was like, I'm done. I, I give up. I am now a full free-to-play player in Dragon Ball Legends. I do not spend any money in this game anymore. Um, but this was a good anniversary. And I think after seeing all the other people complain about the anniversary, I wanted to make a video talking about how it's good. And I think the whales are just complaining because there's just not enough to summon on. But they gotta remember, I mean like, YouTubers have to remember that we don't all have the money they have. The YouTubers, you know, everyone knows who the legend YouTubers are. They make money for summoning. They make money, they put the video out, and then they get the money back from that video. They're not actually paying for the summons. YouTubers are pretty free to play if you think about the fact that every bit of money they put into Legends, they get back from their YouTube. Versus us, who don't get it back, where we have to spend that money. And so, I think YouTubers really need to stop, take a step back and realize, hey, not everybody can do this. A banner with 10 summonable units is not a good banner for everybody. This, I think, is the best banner for everybody. If you're a YouTuber, 14 star the MUI Goku. Go for it. Or, better yet, save your crystals. Save money. This is a money saver, and honestly, for me, it's still hype. The MU I wasn't even hyped for MUI Goku, but he's really fun. I like him. And the Zankai and the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta was just... Oh, that was a cherry on top. I have, my Now I have a 14-star Zenkai 7 Super Blue Super Saiyan Vegito, and a Zenkai, for, uh, Zenkai 7 14-star Super Vegito. I'm loving it right now. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end it there. 
I personally think the anniversary is going very well. I think that the events are the events no matter what. I mean, they're the exact same every anniversary. The difference one being that we actually got that one mission which gives us the tickets every day. And I personally like the banners. I think that this is a much better setup for Carrick for everybody in general. But leave your opinions in the comments. I'm more than willing to have civil, uh, civil conversations with people. With that said, I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next video.